My first name is George, G-E-O-R-G-E, -E, right? Campbell, like soup, C-A-M-P-B-E-L-L, -L, right? And then you were a veteran, <coughs> so where did you serve? When did you serve? Well, I served during the Cuban Missile Crisis in the early 60s, right? Yeah. I was on the first line of defense for the United States up in Alaska. We were tracking Russian pilots every morning, 18 months. Tough job, right? I was in the service during uh, DEFCOM 2, when the United States was on DEFCOM 2, I was in the military on active duty. So I was on the real, in the real service, right? And then you said that you volunteered for this before. Well, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm uh, yeah, I assist, right, yeah. And, you, and then today, though, you're getting services? Right, right. So what kind of services today are you looking for? Well, I got uh, uh, some legal advice on military, on, on uh, uh, VA claims, which are way behind, right? I did get some, some advice on that, right? And I got some uh, Army combat boots that I haven't had since the 60s, right? Backpack, right? Which we didn't have in our day. It, ours was solid green. This is the modern stuff, right? It's all new to me, right? <laughs> so why do you think that it's important that there are events like this that people... Well, this is, now this is one thing. Now, this is something important. In fact, it should be... Uh, see, when I got out of this military, we didn't have nothing like this, right? This is new. This is very, very, very nice. Very nice. And I think you should do it more than once a year. Because, and also inform the veterans because a lot of them don't have no idea about this, right? This is something that really is really needed. And why do you think that it's so hard for people, I guess, to, to come back after they, they get back from serving? It's hard to kind of reinsert themselves. Well, the military, the military is a different kind of animal, you know. When you join the military, they teach you something that they don't teach out in the uh, civilian world, the real world, they teach you how to kill, <laughs> you know, for real. This is a for real business, right? In fact, I think, uh, I think uh, personally, I think everyone should uh, uh, spend a tour in the military, men and women. They're doing all the other countries, you know. If you had, you know, if you, if, uh, the military will teach you one thing. You will learn discipline and respect for one another, you know. And I don't see that out here, and I've been around for a long time, you know. So this may be more of a sensitive question. If you're not comfortable, don't, don't feel like you need to answer it. Um, President Obama today at 2 o'clock is signing an act. I think it's called the Max Holt Act, and it's trying to end veteran suicide for people who come back. Well, there's, 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 there's nothing wrong with that. That's cool. But why do you think um, kind of so many people fall into that when they come back? Kind of well, well, you know, you know, uh, this, this is the thing. This is one of my pet peeves, right? People who have not served in the military have no idea what the hell they're talking about. I hear all the, all, all the pundits and everyone talking about what's what, what's happening here, and you know. You need to put your ass, I mean, <laughs> spend a tour in boot camp, you understand a little more about what's going on in the military. The military is a tough thing, right? And, but it's good for every, I think everyone should, should be forced to serve, personally. And I tell you one other thing, if, if we had more in the military, they would be so eager to go fight. I hear everybody talking on TV about we need to go do this and go to go do that. Put that uniform on and see what time it is, you know. And then why do you think, or do you think that suicide among veterans is a, is a big problem? Do you think that is an issue? Well, yeah, it's a big problem. It's, it's a big problem, you know. When you, <laughs> see, uh, uh, when you're in the military, it's not none of this like you see on TV. You either learn how to kill or be killed because it's not that's not no play. And like when I was in the service, like in the, in the old days, right? I was on a nuclear missile base, right? 
I and during during the time of DEFCOM 2, when they had the Cuban Missile Crisis down, I had I saw two uh, guys in my outfit commit suicide, right, in my presence, right, and I think about that to this day. That was in 1963. So hey, that stays on your mind when you see someone do that. It ain't no, that ain't no, especially someone you know. And in, 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 in the military, you have a good chance of dying at any time, especially when you're in combat, you know. I don't have much more, and I thank you for sharing this with me. No problem, no problem. I guess just what is something that maybe people don't know about veterans, veteran homelessness, veteran services? Is there anything well, you, uh, you, you know, well, you see, you see, you see here, here's the thing. In America, you know, as the compassion is a thing of the past, right, you know, and respectability. You know, you got a lot of people to talk about this. And this. Yeah, you know, I, I, the thing that really pisses me off as a veteran, right, I hear uh, uh, so many people in America disrespecting the office of the president. Since we have a black president, they act like he's just a normal Joe, right, you know. The man is the commanding chief of the most powerful army in the world, right. And they talk about, I, you know, had I, you know, if I was him, I would show him really what time it is, right? <laughs> you know, especially when this cat told him that you lie and you talk bad and, and on, on the floor of the U.S. Oh, man. That pissed me off as a veteran. I was so hot, and, you know. I wish I had that tank, one of the tanks. I would have fixed that. I straightened that out. You know, with respect, you know, you, you know, you don't. That's not, that's the thing of the past.